What's up, Goop Gang? It's your boy Goop back with another video today. And today I'm going to be talking about how I launch because so many people comment on the way that I launch my Beyblades, but also at the tournaments that I've gone to. The typical comments are like, your launch is so weird, or you launch really fast. Not necessarily bad or good comments about my launch, but just like things that people notice because my launch is a lot different from most people's launches, I think. So today I'm gonna like show you guys how I launch because I feel like a lot of people want to know. Everybody launches a little differently. So even though you might not start launching exactly the way that I launch, you might be able to take like a few ideas from my launch to help your launch. So that's basically the goal of today's video. So without further ado, let's get into my launch and I'm gonna take you guys step by step on how I do it right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the setup of my hands and the way that I grip the launcher. So here's the launcher right here. I use the LR launcher for pretty much everything at this point because it's definitely the most powerful launcher. Now I would use the long winder LR launcher from Chosey Achilles, but mine broke. Okay, now watch me launch it too. Yeah, it completely skips. So yeah, that's, that's that launcher. Sorry about that little rant. Now let's get back into the launch. So how I grip this. So I'm left-handed, which means that I don't have specific hand placements like a right-handed person would when using this launcher because when a right-handed person uses this launcher, um, they have these two grooves right here, which are designed literally just to put your fingers on. So like you could grip it like this or like this, but as a left-handed person, there's nothing there. So you pretty much have to figure out for yourself, come up with your own setup. So for me, I like to take so I put my thumb right in here in this groove on t on the top, which is a pretty good spot. Then I put my pointer finger right in this groove here. Hopefully you guys can see all this by the way. Then I put my middle finger right in this groove here. And then I put my ring finger right around just this, this area in general. I don't really have like a specific spot for my ring finger to go. Um, and then I put my um, pinky finger right at the bottom in this groove right here usually. So that's what I like to do. So that's pretty much how I set it up. And the next step pretty much is to set up your placement of your launcher. So this is the biggest thing that I do that's different from other people. Most people keep it at like a 90 degree angle from themselves. So they're gonna launch this way. And I prefer to launch at like a 45 degree angle towards myself. So I launch it more like this. So right here pretty much. Right now I'm like right in front of the camera behind the stadium so it's about 45 degrees from me so this is how I like to launch this is pretty unique I think something that I started to do over time and now it's just become my reg regular way of launching and I can't really change it back at this point oh yeah I forgot to mention okay the way I put my fingers on the um on the little tab so I use my uh, thumb and my pointer finger for this and I lay my pointer finger underneath the uh, tab and then I put my uh, thumb on top of it and that's pretty much how I pull so I think it really just depends on like how big your hands are because if you have smaller hands you're gonna be able to like put your fingers underneath this but I can't do that so I like to launch it like that instead and now I'm gonna show you guys how I release because you definitely want to have like kind of a follow-through when you launch and what I mean by that is when you let go you want to keep yourself in motion a little bit like your arm you should keep your arms staying in a little staying in motion um, at least a little bit because you really want to maximize the power you have and you also want to let go of the string Before you stop moving because if you launch it and you don't let go of the string You pretty much have to kind of stop yourself at the end and you're losing power when you stop like that So you really want to try to let go and keep yourself moving with your arm moving pretty much so the best way to launch really would be to let go right before the end of the string. However, that can be pretty hard to do. So if you can't do that, um, when you get to the end of the string, still let go and still follow through. But it would be better if you're able to let go right before the end of the string and then keep yourself moving because then you'd be able to get the most amount of power pretty much from your launch. I'm changing the angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. Oops. 
another thing about my launch is I tend to turn the launcher a little bit to the right as I kind of let go. I think that's more of just a habit, but, and I also kind of do it to try to get a little extra power out of my launch because, you know, you don't, you want to keep this part stationary, but at the same time, if you're trying to maximize the amount of power you have in your launch, then to have a little bit of motion in this end isn't necessarily a bad thing. If I was using the long winder right now, I would be able to let go before it hits the end because you always can feel when it hits the end of the string. But because this launcher has a, such a short string, it's really hard to get yourself to let go before the end of the string because the string is so short on this launcher that at that point I'm not even at like my full speed I think of my arm you know like I'm still ex my arm's still accelerating and I think that if I had a longer string I would be able to do a lot better launches So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys at all, or at least a little bit with your own launch. And make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.